Hi guys and welcome back to DIY Ideas and welcome to a new extra extra large project. Um, I have used my biggest crocheting hook here. I think it's a size 20 but I'm actually not 100% sure because it doesn't say anymore. Uh, but it's really really big. Um, and obviously I used really big yarn here and I made um, a scarf here out of a yeah, just chain stitches, so you kind of just use it as a loop scarf. Um, you kind of use it more as an accessory versus, you know, using it for its warmth, because it's just, yeah, a very cute accessory. How exactly I did this, I'm going to show you now. And yeah, have fun! Alright guys, so... For this really interesting scarf, we have this knitted yarn um, from Action. I showed this to you a couple weeks ago in a haul video. Um, it's just, yeah, beautiful like fall colors with a really interesting texture. It's 50% acrylic, 35% polyamide, 15% wool. It's 250 grams and 43 meters. Um, so it's, yeah, just very thick. <laughs> um, it says here for size 15 crocheting hooks. Um, I have this one here. It's the biggest one I have. And I think it's a size 20 actually, um, but honestly it doesn't say anything anymore, but I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a size 20. So definitely bigger than what it says here, but um, I think it'll work out just fine. So um, this is the structure here, so I kind of knit it, or not knit it, I'm sorry, uh, knotted the end um, here because it kind of like pulls out uh, the little threads. And so I just wanted to make sure that um, it wouldn't just all unravel. <laughs> um, and yeah, as you can see here, you can just kind of pull at this thread and then you unravel all of it. And obviously we don't want that. Um, yeah, and so the structure is really interesting. It's really pretty, but um, there's just a little bit of a risk that it just kind of comes apart. And then um, obviously if it were to unravel all the way, you could just use the thread you know, in a single thread, but um, that's obviously not what we're here for, so that's why I made the knot at the end. Um, I took the yarn here from the inside of the ball, as I almost always do, um, and so I thought I'm gonna do this really really nice and easy, so I will do a really big um, chain stitch scarf. So I'm gonna start here with chain stitches, as you might have guessed, and um, I'm trying to make this really nice and loose. Um, so I'm trying to not have much tension um, yeah, on the, on the thread. It has just a, such a nice color fade and that's why I want you know, it to be able to be very, very visible. Really simple, really easy project here. Um, there's obviously not a lot of length here uh, in this wool, as we saw. Um, so it should be pretty quick. Take some more wool here, so my yarn. You can see here the color change again to the yellow and then uh, more to the brown again. And yeah, just a really nice structure, I think. All right, and um, yeah, I'm just gonna start with chain stitches. <laughs> so I made a lot of these, um, or just one actually, it's just really long. Um, I used almost all of the wool. I have maybe a, a meter left that um, I'm gonna just pull through the loop, the last loop, and then I'm actually not gonna need the crocheting hook anymore. So, um, yeah, pull out the whole thread here at the end and I'm gonna just put a little knot here as well just to make sure that it doesn't come apart when we don't want it to. Alright, um, and then this really long chain stitch is actually done. Um, I'm gonna lay this down here in like loops um, about a length of or a, um, a circumference that I want for my loop scarf. Uh, this is a little bit of a trial and error, kind of, just to see what looks good, what feels right, and obviously what works for you. 
I think this is a nice length. Um, let me measure it here real quick. Um, so, up until about here I wanted to do it. Let's see. Let's see what we have in length. That's about 80 centimeters, between 80 and 90 centimeters. And that's what we had here. Just in this length, yeah. And um, we will just take the loops that we have, I mean the, the, the chain stitches that we have, and just loop them and loop them and loop them. Always in that same, yeah, in this, in the, with the same length. All right, as you can see, I'm just making more and more loops. coming to an end, but I would really like the beginning and the end to be more or less on top of each other. So the last one I made a little smaller, um, really minimally smaller. Um, but that's not a big deal. So I'm gonna just take the beginning and the end thread, I'm just gonna tie them together. So it's a little difficult just because the end thread is just so long still. So I'm just pulling it all the way through. But um, yeah, that now connected. And now I'm just going to take um, the last bit of wool that I have left over and I'm just going to wrap it around this like junction point. And yeah, I'm just gonna kind of put it all together because it's so long, uh, just so it's a little easier. So just all the way around, around that point where we have the, yeah, we have, we have the connection. We're just trying to hide that a little bit. And it just gives it also just a little more flair. So I'm just going to kind of um, adjust the layers underneath just so we can hide them a little better. Just to hide it, yeah, as best as we can. And we will just continue adding the yarn here, looping it around. And then we kind of have a really thick, nice knot. So you can see here the color fade again really nicely. Um, also in this last little bit we have like lovely colors. We have some nice blues here right now, but the yellow is coming back too.
And here we have a little knot. Um, I'm just gonna take it apart. And yeah, you can just really nicely see here the yellow, the bright yellow. I think that looks lovely. And then we're almost done now. Maybe another two times. And then I'm just gonna kind of push the end <laughs> in with the wrist and hide it. And then we have uh, our chain stitch scarf, loop scarf, done. Um, so just to kind of orange yourself, you have the knot here also. Really funny scarf, um, optically obviously a highlight. Um, depends obviously a little bit if you like accessories like this, but I think this is really nice and something just really different and yeah, just super interesting. If you like this video, then please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you next time back here at DIY Ideas. Bye guys!